Ottawa, they are obviously playing a lot of games, and they just played three games in the last three days, I believe. And today's their uh, day off. They're coming in after a loss. So I'm sure they'll be in a good mood. And uh, we have a lot of respect for this team. That's why we scheduled them. And uh, our trip to Canada, for those of you that were there, you know exactly what I'm talking about. There's outstanding basketball throughout that country. Uh, obviously, it, it's, it's starting to become well known at the grassroots level and the high school players. But the collegiate teams are really good as well. And, and I think Ottawa's tremendous. I think James is a tremendous coach and very innovative. And uh, they play at an extremely high level. They play the other night, they take 68 shots. 48 of them are threes. That's, that's a lot of three-point shots. And uh, at the same time, the scariest thing is all the offensive rebounds that they got out of that. So like one of the biggest keys in this game is going to be the 50-50 balls because they're used to the 24-second clock and at the same time they're used to stealing possessions inside of that. But as far as their team, tremendous condition. Uh, I think they move the ball extremely well. They can play out of the post where they try to create some four round one uh, to create some isolation in the post, get you to over help and kick it out. They're all offenses predicated on, on penetrate and kick, getting you to over help. And they're very quick in transition. They space the floor. They don't put anybody out on the court. They can't make a play. And uh, their penetrate and kick game, especially over the weekend, has been phenomenal. So we think it's going to be an excellent test, just as next week will be with Bellarmine. And um, we're excited about it. As far as where we stand, we're dealing with the aches and the pains and recoveries and things of that uh, nature right now. Not sure if we'll have Colin Hartman tomorrow night or not. Um, I know he'd like to be, so that decision will get made tomorrow. But we're probably going to be, obviously, when he comes back, he's going to be in limited minutes. But we'll also have some other guys that will probably try to really manage their minutes. James, uh, James Knee, uh, he's still dealing with the, the soreness of that from time to time, so we'll probably manage his minutes. Uh, certainly going to manage the freshmen's minutes because it's a long season, and um, they've all dealt with different things throughout the preseason. So we'll try to work them in uh, the best that we can. And, and, and we want to play through fatigue, and we want to get to a point of fatigue. But at the same time, we don't want to put them in situations that they're not ready for yet. That really goes for the whole team. So we'll get a real feel uh, based on, uh, on how it's going tomorrow night. But uh, we're definitely, uh, I know they're extremely ready to play somebody else. And as a coach, uh, it'll be great to see them go against somebody that we have a lot of respect for this early in the season. Go ahead. Terry, you described your style of play, but do mm -hmm. they remind you of anyone that you play Big Ten or, or out of conference? Well, they, they, they're very skilled. So when you're in a league like this, uh, I wouldn't, um, Notre Dame comes to mind a little bit, you know, where, they're, where their forwards can really drive the ball as well as shoot it. But I, I, that's, that's just off the top of my head. I didn't look at them like that. They're, they're what you would see when you turn on, uh, you know, NBA TV and you watch the Euro Finals or you watch FIBA. I mean, they're very much like that. And, and in this league, you're dealing with a lot of different skilled positions. You're dealing with some teams that have skilled in, uh, in pick and pop shooting fives. They have driving fours. They have a lot of different uh, players that can make plays. Number 11 for them, obviously, uh, gets us ready for seeing other really good guards. But, but he's just one of the parts of the machine. They've got a lot of ability to penetrate and kick uh, with everybody. And it almost seems like to me that what you really want, you want everybody to be a playmaker. So I hope that, that we can stop them from being that tomorrow night. But at the same time, that's ultimately where we want to be as a team, where you put everybody on the floor. And they're not only making plays, but they're making plays for others. And I think they do a really good job of that. How, how much can you, and maybe this isn't the way you think about it, but look at the way you played last year against them, look the way you played tomorrow night against them, maybe knowing some of the personnel changes that guys have a year of experience, sure. and say, you know, and pinpoint specific areas where maybe you, you made some, some strides in comparing those. Sure, players. well, I don't think you do that. I, I, it's been so much has been removed from that. But I do know the things that stood out in the game is we gave up an inordinate amount of threes. They got up to a 20 to 7 start. And I didn't think that we that we um, put the pedal to the metal at all at the end of the game. And we almost, we weren't ready to really go on the attack in the last eight minutes of that game. And, and it wasn't like they took control of it, but we never went back and got control of it. 
And I think that's going to be a huge, huge thing for this team. Are we going to be able to, to um, read the momentum of the game, get momentum, keep momentum, and keep going at it? And, and one of the biggest things for us is when we get a lead, if we get a lead, can we continue to build on that lead, all right, by, by getting it inside, by getting to the foul line, by continuing to move the ball? And, and that, to me, is what ultimately you want to, that we're looking at as much as anything when we play games like this is, is there's so many segments of the game, okay, when you go back and look at it and how did we do in those segments. And closing the game, closing the game in the last four minutes, the last eight minutes, but certainly getting off to the right kind of start. And, and again, you may not be making shots, but last year when we played them, we turned the ball over. Um, we, we had some big time miscommunications, and obviously that was August, right? So that's gonna happen. But we let them get too comfortable in the game, and we never took that comfort level from them. So those are the kind of things that I would remember about that game that we'll look at this, but we've gotta have that against everybody. Hey, uh, Tom, what, uh, defensively, what, what do you wanna see? What are you, what are you looking for to see in terms of well, it starts, sure, it starts with transition defense because we've really got to get back and find shooters. And that prepares you for all the good teams that you face because everybody that's running the court for them, they're a quick moving team. They play off the pass far more than they play off the dribble. Okay, there's a couple guys that really penetrate and kick, but they make the next pass like it's breathing. And, and that to me is what we've got to get back and stop. Uh, our post defense, certainly that's going to be. Um, a concern because of the newness of our team, because of the fact that, that the only returner, and he hasn't been out there in a couple of weeks, is Colin Hartman that guarded people on the front line. Certainly Yogi has, Troy has, but where they've actually really got to guard those people. And tomorrow night will be a little bit more four round one if they play the way that they've played and, and, and maybe with one you know true big guy that plays around the basket area. But we've got to get better at everything in that sense. So your post defense, controlling the paint, and then the next biggest thing is, can we make adjustments on the fly in the game with our ball screen defense, with our post defense, with our if we change defenses, we certainly haven't done much of that yet. And we haven't really worked very hard at that. But but we do want to be able to, to uh, challenge their personnel throughout the game. And can the team make adjustments on the fly with that? That's an acquired, it's an acquired art, and we've got to start working on that tomorrow like we have in practice. Mike, go ahead. I'm sorry, Mike. Yeah, I'm sorry. It's still early November, and it's an exhibition game. Do you think you'll reach into your bench and try some things that maybe you wouldn't do? I'm not sure yet. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, different lineups at times. Yeah, I would go with that. But uh, who starts, who finishes, it's more important to me right now that in an exhibition game that we are managing the minutes a little bit. And um, But then there's definitely a couple lineups that if it, if it presents itself, I'd like to see how that is. But really, it's getting people to play, you know, getting them – uh, at game speed and then finding out what their game speed is and how far do they play over it once they get once they hit that wall of fatigue. That's that's the biggest thing to me. And so, to kind of go with that actually, um, how much have you guys kind of worked on just uh, maybe playing bigger lineups at times too and then just playing Thomas and Max at the same time? We do that we do that different times in practice. And um, we we truly don't have a lineup right now. I mean we don't. I mean I we just don't. And so it's really a, a matter of mixing and matching and getting guys comfortable. And then it's taking things like from the other day, you know, things that we didn't do, it doesn't matter who's in there. If we don't roll better when we set a ball screen, okay, and force the rotations, then that hurts our, our whole game. So it doesn't matter if it's two forwards together, if it's Troy in a position, it doesn't matter. And again, we wanted to have some good mix of, of uh, battles the other day and mix some matchups and things like that where guys had to guard different people. But, um, we will definitely play that. I mean, I've, I've said a long time ago, the whole um, being married to the three guards uh, all year long, I'm not married to that lineup at all. Married to Joey, not that lineup. So, go ahead. Is that so, you talked about last year having the unconventional on defense with, without maybe like that, that, I don't want to say just a rim protector, but that mm -hmm. big presence inside. As good as they were in that game in Canada, as good as you've talked about them being coming into this game at, at driving, kicking, moving the ball, is this a good early test of, of basically maybe some of those big guys' ability to, to sort of anchor the post and not allow some of that? Maybe not. Maybe, depending on our coverages, it's more about not overhelping in this game, no matter who's there, because they're going to stretch you out, right? And so invariably, no matter what 
you're used to guarding, you're gonna have to go guard the perimeter. That's one of the reasons that we, that we uh, took this game because it, it, they're better than I even thought. They're better than they were a year ago and they've had an incredible run all, over the last few years there. So to me, you, we cannot get into a position where we've gotta be over helping on the ball because we couldn't contain the ball, no matter who that is. And um, certainly we work on scramble defense, we work on shot clock defense, we work on shot challenges. But the big thing is going to be not overhelping. When we become an overhelp team, I just like when people overhelp on us. It, it, it allows us to, to play at a speed that we want to play at. And, and now we've got to continue to be, be able to dictate how we want to get our matchups when it comes to our offense. But defensively, we want to do a very good job, a very sound job. It's not necessarily controlling the ball, stopping the ball, but containing it. Because they're coming here with a lot of experience. I mean, they're game tested, and they got a veteran group to begin with. So um, I kind of like that. I didn't. I didn't even realize at the time when we scheduled them they'd have this many games under their belt, but they do, and I think that's great for us. Last question, Justin. Yeah, I got to go to practice. Go well, when you start planning out exhibitions in advance, I mean, what are, what are some of the main things you hope to get out of your exhibition season? And how much more do you think you can get out of this one, given how young you are, and then? Competition. Well, we wait late for a reason. Some were some were different um, matchups, like especially once the Maui matchups came out, and you start to, you know, if you have the luxury of it, which we did, to be able to make some decisions late and know that we were going to get um, a good team. We knew really coming out of last year in the back of my mind that I would love to play, you know, one of those teams I'd like to get Carlton here at some point in, in down the road, and um, um, we wanted to play one of those teams because they really, really test you, and and they. And again, they, they have so much that you're going to see when it comes to skill. But the Bellarmine situation was one that we've talked about that, Scott and I have talked about that in the past, and it just worked out. It, it, it's not the perfect day for me as far as like day of the week, but, it's, but it works out in the sense of a good timing before we start uh, our season because it allows us to you know, then take a day off and have a couple days to get ready for Eastern Illinois. But to me, you want to get, uh, there's certainly times where you're going to play teams in state, which we have pretty consistently. We'll do it again. But you're really trying to look at it. We put a lot of research into that. A couple guys on the team really, really do research the lineups, research the film. Then I'll start to look at it. And we start to look, okay, is this team going to really spread us? Is this team going to be really physical? Next week, Bellarmine will be extremely physical, right? And a great screening team. And it just continues to prepare you for the myriad of things that you're going to see from a team that's very, very committed to their half-court offense and defense. So it, it's really kind of based on what you're potentially going to see early in your season, and at the same time, um, something that you know maybe just have a relationship with that with that school or that person, or you've been looking forward to it for some time, something like that. Really, so it's it's not a scientific approach, but there's an approach to it based on what we're going to see. All right, thank you.